welcome back to Chicago Cars Direct. Today we're going to spend time with a 2006 BMW M3 convertible. Now under the hood of this M3, you're going to find the uh, 3.2 liter inline six that's familiar to all the M3 cars uh, of this body. It's 333 horsepower. It's got infinitely variable valve timing. Uh, obviously a lot of power for a car this size. Now this particular car is made into the six-speed SMG transmission. Uh, SMG meaning se sequential manual gearbox. Uh, it's a two-pedal manual gearbox, which means you've got a uh, robotized clutch. Uh, we'll show you how that works, but. Uh, this car is in nearly brand new condition, uh, absolutely stunning, drives like brand new. Let's take a walk around it because it really is something to see. Just want to take a walk around and exemplify the condition. Uh, like I said, this car is nearly brand new. Uh, you see a couple of uh, just stone chips. Uh, you got a really light one there that goes on the primer. Uh, one right up here. Uh, whole lower part of the bumper, you got a tiny, tiny nick here. But uh, you can tell it's been very, very well cared for and a tiny one there. Other than that, everything still dead new. But uh, the, the condition, I, I can't, uh, can't stress enough. Uh, this car does have the 19-inch wheel on it. Uh, this is the 19-inch sport wheel. Uh, set of Michelin Pilot Sports on here. Uh, but in the front, you are looking at a 225-40-ZR19. It's got a tiniest little bit of uh, contact on the lip there from five feet away, uh, you can't see. But uh, look down the driver's side. It's excellent all the way down. Fit finish, everything is uniform. Uh, again, Michelin Pilot Sport tires. Uh, these are a 255-35ZR19 on the rear. Let's take a look around the back. You can see the park sensors. You do have rear park, uh, park distance control uh, on the M3. Proper badging, those beautiful tail lights. And then back down to the passenger side, uh, everything's uniform. It's a beautiful car. You know, for a convertible, this really does have an ample trunk. Uh, you can see right here, got the full set of uh, floor mats, got the rears. Uh, I have the uh, fronts as well. And then in here, I've got the uh, factory plate frame, should you need it in the front, but uh, really a nice size trunk. And this is actually even with the convertible top stowed. One of the things I really like about the 3 Series uh, convertible in general is that you actually have a usable rear seat. Uh, not even the 650 uh, BMW has this much room. But uh, you can fit two adults comfortably back here, and then as an added safety mechanism, you actually have the uh, pop-up rollover bar here when the car senses a rollover is imminent. Really, spend some time on the detail on this driver's seat. I mean, this really should be the best indicator as to how this car's been cared for. I mean, the bolsters are virtually brand new. The leather looks brand new. There's no discoloration, nowhere to the interior. Uh, there is one minor spot, I take that back, which we'll get to, but easy step in. I mean, the car is really still based on a 3 Series. It's one of, you know, it's traditionally one of the best cars in the world, but you've got a uh, tilt and telescope steering wheel, as well as the uh, dual power front seats. You've got driver's memory with the adjustable uh, thigh support. BMWs are known for their simplicity, and this layout is uh, spectacular. Really simple. Uh, you've got the multifunctional uh, M3 steering wheel here. You've got the 10-inch uh, cutouts here but the blue and red stitching all the way through just to indicate this is an M model. Now, as I stated, the SMG, uh, you've got the uh, sequential manual gearbox here, but there are uh, paddles to shift that mounted right on the steering wheel here. But you've got your cruise uh, radio and some various functions up here, but M-spec gauges, uh, it's gray with a uh, orange backlight. Pretty unique look, but those are uh, specific to the M cars. Looking at the top of the uh, center dash here, this is the Harman Kardon single CDN dash here. It's an excellent stereo. Uh, Harman Kardon makes some of the best out there. Uh, it's great with the top down on the highway. Can't miss it. Right below that, you're going to find the automatic climate control. Uh, this is something that uh, you pretty much set and forget it. Along the lower part of the dash here, you're going to find a whole row of buttons. You've got heated seats for uh, both front occupants. Uh, these are for the uh, power convertible top. Uh, DSC here, that's dynamic stability and traction control. Uh, just hit this button, it'll actually defeat that. Now the sport mode here, what that does is it'll actually amplify the throttle response. Uh, much better for driving on the racetrack. It's really, really abrupt and you can really uh, get a good feel for the uh, engine when it's in that mode. Uh, over here you have the tire pressure monitoring system. If you deviate from a certain pressure, it's going to illuminate and you'll have to reset the tire pressure. This is the shifter for the SMG transmission. Uh, as to start it, it's in neutral right now, which is just the, uh, the middle setting. 
Uh, to engage reverse, with my foot on the brake, I just go over and up. You can see it engages the uh, R logo on the uh, readout. But then just to go to the traditional manual mode, I just pop it over into the uh, shift gate and it illuminates one. Now I can pull back to upshift, push forward to downshift, or if I push it over one more time, uh, it goes into the drive mode where the computer will actually manage the shifting for me. Uh, and it drives very similar to uh, what any sort of uh, automatic would. Uh, this little button here will actually sh uh, change the uh, shift parameters, uh, whether it is the firmness of the manual shift or the timing of the automatic shift. Uh, but just to note, the only real uh, issue with the interior is this kind of strange uh, bubbling under here. Um, that is really the only wear and tear I can show you on the whole interior. But uh, other than that, this is really an amazing car. I think it's time we go for a spin. Get underway in the M3. Uh, Drama-free experience. The car does the clutch for you. Uh, the only thing I have to do, because I'm in the manual shift mode, is just shift for myself. So uh, I can use these pedals here, or I can use the uh, shift down here. But uh, I really do enjoy it. I think the technology is pretty amazing, considering what this car is. Uh, I mean, this is the technology you find in, uh, you know, F1 race cars. But make no mistake, I mean, this is a sports car. It shifts very quickly under uh, under some heavier throttle. But, you know, this car, even being a convertible, uh, retains the rigidity of any BMW for that matter. But uh, great amenities, awesome layout, everything is top quality in here. Uh, the brakes, uh, which are included under the BMW schedule of maintenance, were not scheduled to be replaced when we had it in, so I mean they really do feel fantastic. These tires are great, but I mean look at the alignment, brakes, everything's dead on. And it automatically downshifted to second because it knew it needed to do so. Pretty, pretty awesome technology. Dangerous Dave and I are out clocking a little lap on the highway, but uh I mean, we got the top down, we're going 65 miles an hour. I mean, this is a nice, serene, sunny, well, partly sunny, I should say, uh, summer day. Not many other places you probably want to spend another afternoon, but this really is a uh, very comfortable, livable car. Uh, in daily duty, uh, it doesn't beat you up at all. I've got it in the fully automatic mode right now. If I want to switch lanes, it'll still downshift like any other sports car without having to touch it, but... Uh, if I want to go back in the manual mode, I can always just pull the shifter right back. And then I get all that response right back. Alright, just to give you the idea what this thing's capable of, we are in the highest shift parameter right now with sport mode on. Ooh, time to slow down. cars you can take to the track, not have to shift yourself, sit four adults in, be able to drop the top in, and still have the comfort and luxury of a BMW. I really think this car is a kind of a car without peer. Uh, there are other cars you can compare it to it, but the reflexes and comfort of a BMW, you really can't beat it, especially in this kind of a package. Got two great pieces of information here, uh, one being the uh, BMW history report as well as the perfect uh, auto check vehicle history report. Uh, the BMW uh, warranty, which is four year 50,000 miles uh, and does have the uh, scheduled maintenance included for that uh, time period, uh, runs through April 3rd, 2010. So that's a good amount of time left on that. Um, and the auto check history report does show one owner, it was an off lease car. Um, no uh, vehicle history, so to speak, as far as uh, accident history or title issues or odometer. Uh, just a clean history with a couple of uh, registration events. But check this car out on our website. You'll find us at chicagocarsdirect.com or check out our entire uh, YouTube channel. You'll find us at youtube.com slash chicagocarsdirect. Thanks for spending some time with us. It's a blast to drive. We'll see you again soon.